Hi, I'm Nancy Andrews along with Bonnie Stewart for This Week at the Capitol. Bonnie, I understand there was some good news and bad news that came out of Finance Committee meeting this week. Yes, the committee met and decided on a variety of issues they're going to hold public hearings on. Uh, we don't have any language on the bills that they're going to be hearing yet, but we do know that it's going to be a mixed bag for us because one of the measures that they've decided to have a, a more discussion on was mandating combined reporting, which is something that Connecticut employers have great concerns over because of the administrative burdens and the litigation surrounding it. So that's unfortunate. Uh, in addition to that, there was another measure that appears that it will require disclosure of certain confidential taxpayer information. So we've got concerns with both of those measures. On the positive front, though, they raised a couple of bills on issues that we've been working with the Department of Revenue Services on as well as another measure that would clarify the burden of proof in taxpayer um, disputes. So those are two positive measures. Okay, and also the Commerce Committee had a hearing. What came out of that? The Commerce Committee had a hearing on a number of environmental bills, uh, issues that we care a great deal about, uh, in particular streamlining the permitting process. So businesses and others had an opportunity to share their concerns and desires regarding the whole permitting process as it relates to the environmental protection. So. Uh, that was, again, uh, a good uh, good opportunity for us. Okay. And everyone's talking about the governor's budget. He's been holding town hall meetings, uh, letting business people and the public get out to tell them what they think of it? Absolutely. Uh, the governor's budget's been a hot topic since he announced it on the 16th. This week, the Appropriations Committee started holding public hearings at the Capitol, both for the agency people to uh, raise their uh, thoughts regarding the budget and also for the public to come in and comment and they'll be doing that next week as well. This week the governor actually had a meeting in Torrington, a town hall meeting as you uh, put it, to hear from the general public about their concerns or reactions to his budget and tax package. Next week we'll also have another one of those hearings and that will be down in New London and he'll continue to have those for several weeks to come. Okay and what else do we have coming up next week? A big issue for Connecticut businesses is the whole issue of paid sick leave, mandating uh, paid time off. would be the first in the country. It's a big concern for us. And that hearing will be held in the Labor Committee on Tuesday. So we've heard from a lot of our members regarding their opposition to that measure and received quite a few letters of opposition to it. Um, and we'll be sharing those with the, the Labor Committee next week. In addition to that, there's going to be a hearing in the Energy Committee where they're going to be uh, discussing the possibility of imposing two new generation taxes when it comes to electric generation. A big concern for Connecticut companies because obviously if they add that on, it will increase the cost of energy in the state and we're already far too high. So it'll be a busy week next week on those two topics alone. Okay, great. Thanks, Bonnie. You're welcome. And don't forget, on March 9th is Connecticut Business Day at the Capitol. Governor Malloy will be speaking. We hope that you, business leaders, will come out in force and attend the event.